I want to give a probabilistic interpretation of Adaboost that's actually really useful in practice. Um, it gives it uh, the benefit that logistic regression has in the sense that you get a model for the probability that y equals 1 given x. Okay, so but I have to derive that from Adaboost loss function. Okay, so I want you to think about fixing the value of x. Okay, so I could choose any x I want. I'm going to fix it uh, to a particular value of x. And for that value of x, there's a distribution of y. And I don't know what the distribution is, but I know that it only takes two values, right? That, that y takes only two values. It's 1 and minus 1. Okay, y equals 1 and y equals minus 1. And there is a distribution on those. Um, so I've drawn them both kind of equally, but it could be that this guy has uh, more of the distribution than that one or the other way around. Okay, so this value here, that's, that's, that's sort of the size of that blob is related to the probability that y equals 1 given x. And this one is related to the probability that y equals minus 1 given x. Okay, cool. So I want to give you, a, start with a little lemma. And the lemma looks like, like this, okay? So it's all right here, lemma. And the lemma is that the expectation, okay, with respect to that distribution I just gave you, so with respect to the distribution of y uh, given um, x, okay? And then this is the exponential loss, e to the negative y times f of x. Okay, so here y is capital because it's random. X is not random, so it's, it's lowercase. Apologies for the handwriting, can't really tell the difference, but let's just say that all my y's are capital and all my x's are lowercase, and we'll all be happy. Okay, good. So this thing is minimized at uh, the value of, a value of f of x equals one half log, natural log, one half log, probability y equals one given x, divided by probability y equals minus one given x. Okay, that's kind of cool. So let us prove it. So um, I just want to write out here the exponential loss. Now remember, this distribution, it only has two values in it. So the expectation, right, the expectation is a sum over outcomes times the probabilities of those outcomes. And so here, there's only two of them. Okay, so let's do that. So probability y equals 1 given x. And then I'm going to have another term for the probability y equals 1. Probability y equals minus 1 given x. Ah. Okay, and then I have here e to the y, negative y f. Okay, y equals 1. So I don't have to write the y in there. I still have to write the f of x. Now y equals minus 1, so minus minus 1. That's just 1. Cool. All right. Now, I'm supposed to take the derivative of this and set it equal to 0 to get the minimizer, right? I want to... I want to know what f, what is the value of f that minimizes this expected exponential loss, okay? So I have to take the derivative of the exponential loss and set it equal to zero. So let's just do that. Okay, so zero equals the derivative of this expected loss, so e to the negative y times f. divided by, or sorry, not divided by, take the derivative with respect to f of x, sorry. All right, okay. That's what happens when you're concentrating too hard on notation and not paying attention to what you're doing. All right, so in any case, take the derivative of this, set it equal to zero. Now there's, I'm taking derivative with respect to f of x, so that negative sign comes down, so I get negative, And then here, there's no negative sign from there, so don't need that. Good. Okay, now 
I set that thing equal to zero, and I get that the probability that y equals one given x All right, so now I get to simplify there. And then all I have to do now, it's a piece of cake, right? one half log of both sides cool i think i proved my lemma yep that's it great so now i get to put the little square at the bottom that's always fun okay cool now um i want to mention that um, this thing is actually very similar to what you get with logistic regression. So the probabilistic interpretation for boosting, it's actually only, it's like only a little drop different than logistic regression. So logistic regression just doesn't have this one half in there. Otherwise it's exactly the same. I think that's totally crazy that, you know, logistic regression and boosting, they're, they've totally different loss functions, right? Exponential loss versus logistic loss. And yet the probabilistic interpretation the only difference is this silly one half there. I mean, how is that? I don't know. Anyway, that's that's super cool. That's another sort of, you know, magical thing about the exponential loss. Just weird stuff happens. Okay, so we're not done yet. Okay, we're not done yet. We've proven this lemma, but we haven't given this probabilistic interpretation. So what, what I mean by probabilistic interpretation means I want to know what, I want an estimate for the probability that y equals one given x. And I want that in terms of my model f of x. So let's, let's go in and figure that out. Okay, so I can do that by solving this, by solving for the probability that y equals one given x, right? I want that in terms of f of x. So I'm gonna start here. Um, let's grab another color there. I wanna start there. And I want to just rewrite this a little bit and I'm gonna call the top, I'm gonna to call this numerator P just to make my life easier, lowercase p. Um, and then I'll call this one minus P because you see, again, these probabilities have to add up to one, so fine. Okay, so this equals e to the two f of x. Okay, great. So now what I have to do, I have P equals all right, now let's just write this out a little bit. I have e to the two f of x, a minus p, e to the two f of x. Okay, cool. So now I want to just, um, I want to just put all the terms that involve p on one side, because again, I'm trying to solve for p. Okay, so I have, I can do p I can do p equal p times, and then I have the one from this side plus the e to the two f from the other side equals e to the two f of x. And then finally, I can say p, which is the probability that y equals one given x equals e to the two f of x over one plus e to the two f of x. Neat. Okay, so that is my probabilistic model. So if I get, um, if I get f of x, I can get an estimate for the probability that y equals one given x, okay? Cool. So that's really cool. And another really interesting thing, again, about this formula is that logistic regression's probabilistic model is almost the same. The only difference, again, are these twos. Right, logistic regression didn't have the twos. 
So it has almost exactly the same probabilistic interpretation um, as logistic regression. Okay, so this is helpful if you want, like, if you don't just want a classification, if you don't just want a prediction of yes or no, but you, you want, like, you know, the probability of failure or the probability of spam or the probability of discovering oil, depending on what uh, kind of, kind of uh, application you're working on. It's always kind of useful to have a probabilistic interpretation sometimes. Thanks.